A local teenager is about to get quite the experience. Yeah, Sage Roshka plays tennis and she also helps recycle tennis balls. Can't wait to hear all about this. I have news reporter Pat Gallon is live at the Heriton High School in Rosemont to introduce us to Sage. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, guys. Yeah, she's out here recycling me on the court, essentially. But what's more important is that she's found a way to recycle tennis balls, and she's been honored for that. Good morning, Sage. Thanks morning. for hanging with us. Thank you for having me. It's a little early for you? Just a little Just bit. a little bit early yeah. for you. Uh, well, we appreciate it anyway. So tell us about this recycling program, which takes tennis balls and does cool things with them. How did you mm -hmm. figure out a way to do this? So I um, started recycling balls when I was at about 10 years old. A lot of people don't know this, but as soon as you open a can of tennis balls, it already starts losing pressure. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there are about 325 million balls produced each year, and a lot of them end up in landfills. So I started sending some balls to animal shelters for the dogs and schools for the bottom of chairs. Ah. Yeah. And I, I also that. send them to a nonprofit organization called Recycle Balls, okay. which grinds up the rubber and they turn use the rubber and turn into new tennis courts and other green items. So just by playing your whole life, you, you realize like these are all going in the trash or they're going yeah. somewhere terrible. Let's figure out a cool way to exactly. make good use of them. Yep. And the rest is history. So with that being said, you got a chance to go to the U.S. Open this past weekend and you were honored. Talk about that, that whole weekend, that whole trip. Yeah, it was amazing. I was honored to have the privilege to go there. Me along with 16 other people, other teenagers from across the country. Yep. We all got chosen to go based on our community service. Oh, wow. And so each of them all did amazing things in their community. Yep. So we all talked about that and how to grow what they're doing. You made a chair out of these as well? Yes, I did. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> Me and my friend, we took a few hundred balls or so and we glued them together and I made a chair for my cat. <laughs> Can you make me a chair? Is this of a, course. Are you going to start like a furniture store based on uh, yeah. tennis balls? Yeah. That's cool. So what's next? You're about to start, tennis season just started, but school's about to start here at Harrington? Yes, I, school, I start school on September 3rd, and mm. we've already had some of our season matches. Cool. I had one last night. How'd it go? It's very exciting. I won my match, but unfortunately our team lost in a close battle, but right, there's well, still a long season to go. You'll get them next time. You want to <laughs> school me on live TV because I'm sure everybody wants to see that happen. So. I'd love to. All right. <laughs> She'd love to. Of course she would. All right. You take those. <laughs> okay. Serve it at me. Show me yeah. what we've got. Oh, we've been out here warming up this morning and my back's a little tight, guys, but she's, uh, she's, she's the ace here, as it were. All right, Sage, let's do it. Make me look like a fool. That's why I'm here, though. Oh. oh, not that much of a pool. <laughs> ah. Stay in. Not good. All right. All right, I got to come down. Ah. What do you think? Getting, I'm getting a little better here. Ah. Ah. That was pretty good. Guys, my back good. can't take it. But Sage is really, yeah, not me, she's the... <laughs> he doesn't have a tight back. He just got back from vacation. He's <laughs> relaxed. Don't use that Janet as an excuse. calling you out, Pat. All right. Uh, Please. Yeah, Both I'm sure. of you look great. Thanks, guys. Pat and Sage, thank Sage. you.